Hi everybody, I hope everybody is doing well. It's good to be back with all of you again. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to make these dried uh, eucalyptus uh, seeds and uh, twigs. I use these to add height as well as movement to my uh, arrangements. So without wasting any time, let's get started and see how these are made. So I'll be showing you how to make these uh, dried up uh, eucalyptus uh, seeds uh, with the twigs. Um, the dried up eucalyptus seeds uh, look uh, different uh, in different uh, as they dry in different uh, stages. Uh, I think these uh, look really uh, pretty with the darkened uh, centers uh, and uh, the rounded uh, shape. Uh, they look like uh, berries almost. Uh, so uh, I thought these will look really nice in an arrangement. Uh, so let's start uh, with uh, the seeds and then I'll show you how to make uh, the twigs. Let me put these away. To make uh, the uh, seeds, you need to uh, color your uh, flower paste uh, with uh, brown. Uh, so I'm using uh, my flower paste, flower paste by Arti Merji, the humid version to make uh, these uh, seeds. Um, again, it is uh, the monsoon season here, so I'm using the humid version. However, uh, for seeds or anything that um, is quite bulky and not rolled thin, it doesn't really matter uh, whether it is the original uh, version or uh, the humid version uh, because uh, there's no fear of uh, the petals or the leaves uh, drooping. Anyway, because I've been using uh, the humid version um, throughout the season, I'm uh, using the same, right? So I have uh, colored my uh, flower paste with a little bit of uh, brown, uh, sugarine brown. You can use any uh, gel color. You can also color your flower paste with uh, uh, dust colors if you want. Uh, it doesn't really make too much of a difference because we do uh, color it again uh, with dust colors. So this is just the base color that uh, we want. So don't worry too much if uh, your shade is a little uh, different from uh, mine. Um, right? So whenever we use any uh, flower paste or gum paste, you must always knead it well between your fingers to make it pliable. Um, I'll be showing you how to make uh, these uh, eucalyptus seeds uh, using, uh, uh, using a, a tool which is quite uh, unusual. So this is what we'll be using. This is actually a screw head uh, which I have uh, stolen from my husband's uh, toolkit. Um, I've washed it well. Uh, the reason I wanted uh, this tool, I hope you can see it. The reason I wanted uh, this tool is because it has this, uh, the four uh, segregations that uh, I need to make the eucalyptus uh, seed. Because uh, this is how, let me show you one of the seeds. So this is how, this is uh, the uh, uh, the formation that I want within the seed. I think uh, you can see it clearly now. Yeah, so to get this impression in uh, this, the round uh, flower paste, this works. Okay, I'm out of range. Uh, let me get it back. This works perfectly to get that impression into my uh, seed. So you can always uh, find this in your toolbox. I'm sure you will have it, right? So, and uh, the beauty of uh, these eucalyptus seeds is that they are really, really uh, tiny. They are not big. So uh, try and keep uh, in mind that you don't make them too big. Uh, they should be, if you have, uh, a eucalyptus tree close by, it's best to probably get some and then compare the sizes so that you get it as uh, close to uh, the real thing as possible. 
I could do that because uh, there is a eucalyptus uh, tree very close by. So I know that this size is uh, the perfect size. Yeah, so I'm just taking a little bit of uh, my paste. I'm going to compare it to what I have. And I know that it is a little bit more than what I need. So I'm going to make sure that I make a nice round uh, without any, um, any crevices or without any lines on it. It should be a smooth uh, uh, ball. If you feel that uh, you're not getting the smoothness, always uh, you can uh, take a little bit of shortening and then knead your paste and then uh, roll it and you will find that you will get uh, a creaseless um, a ball of paste, right? So once uh, you have done that, take this uh, head of uh, the screw attachment and uh, just press it in like so, right? And I'm just trying to get the impressions onto the paste and then I'm going to remove it and now you can see that I have that perfect uh, cross shape on the ball. We are not done yet because I want to uh, make it right now. It is quite flat on the top. I want it to be uh, rounded in shape. So I'm going to take my needle tool and I'm just going to exaggerate those lines that are there. Just pressing down on that like so and then I have this tool let me just show it to you it is it has a very very uh, small ball tip uh, which really works well there you go I think you can see it uh, clearly uh, now so I'm just going to take this tool and take this uh, ball of paste that I have with the plus mark on it and I'm just pushing it under this paste, the, the, the petal if you might uh, call it and pushing it so that I get a hollow there. I'm doing the same with the, all the other four just like so so that I thin it out and I also get a hollow over there. Right? I think this is uh, good enough. And now I'm going to try and round it off so that I get a bulge on top and it is not flat. Again, if I feel that I need to go into it with my needle tool, I'm going to just again exaggerate those lines the crevices that are there and I think I'm happy with what I have now remember we are going to when we color it with a dark uh, shade inside it even that is going to bring out the cross that you have in the center of the seed now for the seed I'm going to take 30 gauge uh, wire, make a very small hook on the top, like so. And then I'm going to pass it through without using any glue. Now, if you feel now what is happening here right now is that the paper is coming off uh, my wire. If you feel that that happens with your wire, try and roll the paper back and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then you will have to. So this is not working for me because it, the paper is still coming off. So I'm going to take, I'm going to discard that uh, wire and I'm going to take another piece of wire and make a hook. Always remember, if the paper is not on your uh, floral uh, tape, 
then uh, uh, sorry the floral wire the the wire will not stick to your uh, flower paste uh, whenever you're making a petal or a leaf if you feel that the paper has unwound itself and it's come off the wire please discard the wire and take a fresh one with the paper uh, intact on it. It is the paper or the cloth that uh, is there on the floral tape which uh, helps the paste adhere to uh, the wire. Now after inserting the hook into the center of my eucalyptus seed, I'm just going to pinch at the base like so, so that I get and twiddle the base so that I get a neck like this. I want a neck on my seed and that is what I've got over here. Now I'm going to use a very handy tool. This is um, uh, from Nicholas uh, Lodge. Uh, well, I have it so uh, I find it a, a really cool tool uh, to use. You can always use a toothpick. I think um, um, he, he calls it the companion tool. I think that's what it is called. I'm just going to make use of uh, the fine tip that is there just to make an impression. Just draw a, a circle just where those those uh, petals if you may call them or the sepals start i'm just getting i do not know what it is exactly called uh, it just looks like a petal so we'll go with that or a sepal right so i've just made uh, an impression a ridge over there and i'm going to go th on to the sepals or the petals that are there and just lightly make some textures on it just to make it look real not too much just a little bit and your seed is uh, ready now you need um, a lot many of these uh, so the uh, the time that I um, watch TV is when I'm uh, uh, you know making uh, these uh, because it doesn't really uh, require too much of uh, attention or precision. Uh, but uh, when you assemble it together, you will find that even if you've made twenty of those, uh, when you put it all together, uh, they don't look too much uh, so uh, it's always uh, good to have about uh, I would say say 30 to uh, 40 of these so that you can make a nice big uh, twig uh, right so uh, when uh, when we come back uh, uh, I'll show you how to uh, color uh, these eucalyptus uh, seeds I'll see you bye bye Everybody has a happy place and mine is in making sugar flowers. Hi, my name is Aarti Mirji. I'm a sugar florist and I have had the honor of winning the Cake Masters Magazine Awards for sugar flowers. I also have an award-winning product, Flower Paste by Aarti Mirji, made in collaboration with Sugarine, which has been called Game Changer by those who have used it. You can get it on my website, artimirji.com. I've been on this colorful journey with my beautiful flowers for about six years. I travel around to teach sugar flowers and have now started conducting online classes. To get updates on my class, visit my website and connect with me on Facebook and Instagram. Welcome back. Uh, let me now show you how to color these uh, eucalyptus uh, seeds. So to color uh, the seeds, uh, we'll first uh, color the inside uh, of uh, the uh, eucalyptus seeds and then we can color uh, the outside of it. 
To color the insides, I'm going to use uh, the aubergine uh, dust color from uh, Sugar Flare. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of uh, the Baker Spirit or the Rejuvenator uh, Fluid from uh, Sugarine. Now you can use uh, vodka or any uh, high concentrate uh, alcohol uh, thinner uh, that you have. Don't make uh, your uh, wet uh, paint uh, too runny. You want it to be uh, quite a strong uh, color, so I'm not putting too much of uh, the uh, thinner into it, the uh, rejuvenator uh, fluid. Just mix it well and then wipe off the excess from the brush and go right into the eucalyptus seed center and just color it with the aubergine like so. Now if you want, you want to exaggerate the uh, ridges to the side, you can even go over it a little bit so that it looks as though you've cut it uh, quite deep. So you can go into it like this and you can see that now the cross that is there in between is uh, quite uh, prominent and exaggerated, right? You can also, if uh, you have really not uh, been too precise with uh, the petals or the sepals that are there on the seed, you can correct that with this color and it will be as if you have actually molded it that well by hand. So here if you see I do not have uh, the ridges really strong but because I have this dark shade I can go into it and make it look really exaggerated like so. Right? So that's uh, the center part. Now to do the uh, outside what you need is uh, a few dust colors. Let me just reach out and get them. Now I have a few. You need to let these uh, dry up uh, really well before you start uh, uh, coloring, dusting them. Uh, the center part you can of course color it even when it is wet but when you are trying to uh, brush the uh, dust colors onto it you will find that if uh, you're not too careful and your seeds have not uh, dried up uh, really well they might come off uh, the wire so just make sure that uh, they've dried up uh, well uh, maybe for three four hours that should be good enough uh, now I have a couple uh, here which I had made earlier. Uh, to color these we need uh, uh, from Petal Craft I'm using hot chocolate and Edible Art I'm using copper and from Sugarine I'm going to be using uh, raisin. Uh, so these are just uh, different uh, shades of uh, brown which will help uh, us to get uh, some depth on our seeds and make them look uh, real. So I'm just going to pick up some of these dust, put them on my sheet. Here. And then pick up the lightest shade first and from the bottom I'm going in towards the top. The top is uh, not uh, to be colored, it is quite light. It is only at the base that we are going to apply the color. Move on to the next shade and then the darkest shade. like so. So we'll do that to all the other seeds as well. Maybe you can uh, 
hold a couple in your hand and color them together like so there you go now you don't have to uh, worry too much about uh, getting it uh, absolutely even uh, all over uh, the beauty is in it being uh, a little more in some places and a little less in other places so that it gives the impression that uh, the light is hitting it from different uh, angles so this is all uh, there is uh, to coloring uh, your uh, eucalyptus uh, seeds once you've uh, dusted all your uh, eucalyptus seeds you can then move on to uh, assembling uh, them now let me uh, just show you how that is done right to tape it together i'm going to use um, white uh, floral tape now I uh, do not have the ivory uh, shade with me so I am uh, using this. Uh, if you have uh, say uh, an ivory or a light brown you can even use uh, that tape. Uh, the idea of making this um, the eucalyptus uh, seeds and the twigs is that uh, uh, you don't really need to be too particular about uh, what you have. Uh, if you do not have white, you can go in for a darker shade of tape. If um, you do not have, uh, say, 30 gauge uh, wire, you can go in for maybe uh, 28. It doesn't really uh, make too much of a difference, right? Uh, so here I have my uh, dusted uh, eucalyptus uh, seeds now you can bunch them up in uh, threes fours fives maybe even six um, have uh, maybe different uh, bunches with a different number of uh, the seeds it doesn't have to be precise um, again i'll make a few with three a few uh, with four and uh, maybe use uh, single ones as well on my twig so what i'm doing is i'm just holding uh, all the three uh, together Taking my half width tape, I've uh, just cut the full width uh, tape with a scissor because I do not want too much bulk on uh, my uh, uh, seeds. So I'm using a half width tape. You can also use a quarter width, but uh, many a times I do find that uh, my students, when they try and use a uh, cotton with, uh, they bunch it up and then it uh, actually uh, acts counter because it, it uh, creates a bulk on uh, the uh, wire, right? So I feel that it's much easier to use a uh, half width tape as long as you keep it at an angle and uh, keep uh, moving uh, your wire, rolling it around it and not, uh, making sure that it is not uh, wrapping itself in the same place again and again, you will avoid having bulk on your wire. So I'm just pinching uh, the tape to ensure that it is adhered to my uh, wire over here. And then keeping my tape at an angle, I'm rolling the wire between my fingers and at the same time moving the tape downwards so you see that i do not have too much bulk on my wire at all it's just bare minimum and then you can just push out your eucalyptus uh, seeds like so let me make another bunch maybe this time i'll take all five of them oh we have six so let me take that one as well bunch it all together and at the base where the neck is pinch it so that your tape is adhering to the uh, wire um, another thing to keep in mind whenever you start using the floral tape always stretch it out to release the glue yeah, so now I'm going to just keep it at an angle and move my 
wire between my fingers, roll it so that the tape wraps around the wire. So I have a couple of uh, bunches made already over here. So next I'll, I'll uh, show you um, how to uh, make uh, the uh, twigs to which we can then attach our uh, eucalyptus uh, seeds and uh, then uh, finally I'll show you how to color the whole stem. So now I'm going to show you how to make these uh, twigs uh, with all these uh, knobs and uh, broken stems. Uh, this is a really uh, fun thing to make. Um, you can do as you please. There's no uh, right or wrong to it. Uh, so um, perhaps you can even involve your uh, kids uh, to help you make them. They'll have uh, a lot of fun. So what I've done here is I've also included into this uh, twig uh, a few of uh, the eucalyptus uh, seeds. So maybe if you are uh, trying to uh, add a lot of height to your arrangement, these twigs really uh, work very well uh, because uh, it helps the eye to move upwards and uh, gives uh, a lot of uh, movement to your whole uh, arrangement. So I really um, uh, like to have a lot of these uh, twigs uh, and stems uh, made and kept um, in a variety of uh, shades uh, from uh, a light brown to dark, uh, dark brown and uh, as and when I feel the need uh, to add uh, uh, height to my um, arrangements, I uh, make use of them. They are really fun and easy to make. You don't have to uh, worry too much about uh, going wrong with them because there is no wrong. It can be uh, made any which way you want. And the best part is that uh, to make these twigs, I'm sure uh, all of you will have some uh, bits and pieces of wires that uh, you do not know where to use. I have a lot of these uh, lying around and uh, the twig is a perfect way of uh, making use of all these uh, small uh, bits in uh, varying sizes and uh, thickness. So uh, I have a few of these. I have um, a few of uh, the thicker ones. Then I have a few which uh, I had used for some flour and then uh, when I was uh, making an arrangement, I found that it was really too long. So I snipped off uh, half of it and I have that bit also with me. We will try and use uh, as many of these uh, in making our twig. Now, how do you make those uh, knobs? You can um, make it in uh, multiple ways. I found a very, uh, a very cool way of making uh, those uh, knobs. What I do is I just tear off a little bit of my uh, floral tape and just bunch it up. I have color in my hand, uh, the brown, so it's all coming on uh, the floral tape and that's uh, perfectly uh, fine. You don't have to worry too much about it uh, because we are going to color all of this uh, brown again. So I'm just 
randomly tearing off uh, bits of uh, the floral tape uh, and making these uh, small bunches just like so in varying sizes so that as we as we thicken the stem we can use the bigger ones uh, below uh, the thicker part and for the top we need a little uh, of uh, the smaller less uh, bulky uh, uh, bunches so like so I think I have yeah there are uh, the tape is bunched up so just opening it up again even for this if you have small bits of tape uh, lying around you can use those you don't have to uh, particularly have a, a new uh, strip with you just those bits that are just lying around which you would uh, discard otherwise can be uh, used now I think this is good enough to show you how to make uh, these uh, small uh, tiny twigs so what I'm going to do is I'm just taking randomly these small bits of uh, wire I think these are uh, 24 gauge uh, wires and this one looks like a 26 uh, they are all uh, bits uh, from uh, uh, the various petals and leaves that I had made earlier now for the top instead of having it just uh, flat I want it to be a little rounded off on the tip a little bulkier and then uh, becoming thinner and then having a knob uh, at some distance so what I'm going to do is I'm just taking my wire and I'm just rolling the tape Two, three times uh, at the same place and then I will go down like so and then take one of the small bunched up bits that we had made I'll have to find a new word to call it I don't know what uh, to call it so it's just a bunch of uh, floral tape is what I'm going to call it so here it is I, I just added a little bit of uh, bulk there to give it a little more dimension it's not a flat wrapped uh, piece of uh, wire right so I'll just do that and that is one bit of a twig so again just be uh, don't worry too much about what you're doing you can sit and uh, make this in your leisure time maybe while you're uh, having a, a chat with a friend or with family members just make a number of such uh, uh, twigs I think the 26 is too uh, thin so what I'll do is maybe I'll take two of these and then tape it up like so now this might uh, when you are making these twigs you might feel that uh, you know you you don't really know how it's going to look and uh, you wonder whether uh, it'll uh, look nice uh, but uh, I assure you when you put it all together and you color it you yourself will be surprised as to how pretty and nice it looks so maybe I have one here bunched up I'll put another one so this is a longer piece then maybe to make this one I'll use a longer uh, bit of uh, wire so I think this bit is good right again I'm bunching it up at the tip and moving downwards taking another bit of the rolled up uh, tape maybe I'll put another one here
Now, uh, there's another way to make these, uh, these uh, slightly longish uh, uh, stems, if you might call them, that are uh, jutting out. Uh, you can either uh, wrap uh, tape around a piece of uh, bit of wire, a small bit of wire, or what you can do is just take the tape and twist it around like so. I'm just showing you different ways of uh, getting a similar effect. And then I'm just looping it and twisting it around like this so that it looks like there's a bit of stem that has broken off and then I can continue taping. Now if I feel that uh, the half bit tape is, uh, I, I want the stem to start thickening from here because uh, uh, we all know that the stems as they uh, go downwards they become thicker. So for that, I'll uh, use my uh, full width tape. And here you don't have to be too particular about not getting the creases on your tape because uh, the, that itself adds uh, beauty and texture to your stems. So don't worry about uh, you know, smoothening those, uh, those uh, taped, uh, the marks that you get uh, on uh, your tape, yeah. So here again, maybe I want to add a little bit of the bunched up uh, floral tape bit. Now, over here, maybe I will now start adding a little bit of maybe uh, a few of the seeds. So here, Okay, this is still not dried up. This is the one we colored, I think. This is the dried up one. Right, now uh, one thing, uh, if you have, if you are you going to use a single uh, bit of uh, the seed, a single uh, seed, you will have to tape it. Do not uh, show a wire. That's a big uh, no-no. So I'm going to take this and maybe add it over here, like so. Take your tape. Make sure you're not showing wire anywhere, right? Now this is one bit just, and always give movement to your wires, never leave them uh, straight, right? And maybe here I'll add a bunch. Yeah, I think this already has started looking so pretty. So, like I was saying, it's all up to you how you want to make your twigs. So I'm not going to tape it right to the bottom because we need this part to attach to the longer stem. So what I'm going to do is take this one now, maybe add this piece of twig to it. Give it some movement and maybe another bunch over here and now as I'm going downwards I want to keep adding uh, thicker uh, wires to thicken the stem itself so what I'll do first is just tape up the stem and now here when I see that this part is thick and this is going to be look thinner then I'm going to take again another piece of uh, wire, the thicker one, maybe add two of those. So you just keep adding your bits of wires that are lying around and use them up while you're making these twigs. Maybe I'll take two bits of uh, these uh, 
bunched up uh, tape and then make a really oops this came off make a very thick knob over there go over it just to make sure that it is secure it does not fall off you see how pretty that looks right and now I think I'll start adding the eucalyptus seeds to this again if I feel that my my uh, wire or the stem is becoming thinner I'm going to go on adding more wire to make sure that it does it it needs to be thicker as it goes downwards and it is thinner on the top here I can keep adding the twigs again give it some movement and here maybe now this other twig that we had made can be attached just look at it and see how you would like it I think this will look pretty so I'll just add that bit there again I'm taking now because I want it to thicken at the base I'm going to keep on adding wire to it maybe now I'll take the really thick wire like so and tape that up and then keep adding my eucalyptus seeds if you feel that it is becoming too flat on one side just add some more wire to give it some roundity right now maybe I want a few more bunches a few more knobs on the thicker part so I'm going to make a really thick bunch of tape and just attach that so I think you get the idea it's basically you just keep adding more wire as you go downwards and you also can keep adding the twigs or even the seeds it's all up to you how you want it maybe I want to add a few twigs along with the seed so I'll take again some half width floral tape here bunch it all up and then tape it like so so I think you get the idea how to uh, make uh, the twigs so uh, now uh, we'll take a small break and when we come back I'll show you how to uh, color the stem
Now to color the twig, we are going to use the same colors we had used to dust the eucalyptus uh, seeds that is uh, Petal Craft Hot Chocolate, Edible Art uh, Copper and Sugarine uh, Raisin uh, color. So just take out this time we need quite a bit of it because uh, what I found was that um, uh, so first I thought maybe I could uh, wet paint it by mixing the dust color in um, uh, the uh, rejuvenator fluid but uh, when I tried to do that the paint was just not adhering to the um, floral tape uh, and that is because of uh, the glue that is there on it so uh, the best method to color it I uh, feel is just to use the um, dry dust uh, colors so just Again go with the lightest shade and this time you can rest your uh, twig on the paper like so, so that you get a good amount of the dust on uh, the twig. I'm just putting without thinking too much a base coat of the uh, hot chocolate over here again don't uh, worry if it is a little strong in some places and uh, a little lighter in the other one that adds to the beauty so just make sure you're going all over the twig with it and that is the reason sometimes it helps if your uh, floral tape is already a shade of brown of course you don't want it to be really dark because uh, then you cannot show the different shades on uh, it. A good ivory or even a yellowish uh, uh, colored uh, tape uh, works well. But then we can also work with the white floral tape like you can see here except it takes a little more time to get the dust color on it and to get it to look like a twig. Now if you are making a twig which is very light shade then you would probably keep it off white and use a little uh, bit of yellow here and there. Now we will go back and add uh, movement to uh, the twigs uh, right now uh, I'm just trying to get the color all over the twig and once I'm done with the coloring I'll go back and uh, try and uh, give it the movement I want so the I think uh, the longest part is the coloring in this Just go with and like I said the the textures that you get on uh, the creases that you get on the tape itself adds beauty to the whole uh, twig so don't bother too much now if your hand aches and if uh, you are like me uh, where you can use both your hands uh, it works to your advantage so whenever my left hand gets tired I move to my right hand and uh, alternate between the two yeah that's an advantage I have so now I'll move on to the next shade and then 
again randomly apply it it gets a little easier once you have one shade on it then uh, it takes the dust uh, better it's only the first coat where you have to really uh, rub the color in let me pick a little more of the copper now depending upon your uh, uh, the uh, color scheme of your uh, arrangement also you can decide how dark you want to go with your twigs again there's no such uh, steadfast rule that it has to be of uh, this particular shade and if you are using uh, uh, a lot of dust and uh, uh, believe it or not i am allergic to dust uh, colors i always use a mask while i'm dusting my uh, flowers or petals and of course now with uh, the covid situation uh, we are quite used to having a mask right so it shouldn't be too much of a problem having a mask on and uh, dusting yes so now we move to the darkest shade and this uh, dark color i will put more on the knobs and in between the crevices or where the joints are and then blend it later on i'm first applying it just on the bulkier portion or the places where we had attached those bits of um, the rolled up uh, floral tape and wherever two uh, twigs meet at the tips at the base like so <clears throat> now you see the whole twig is coming to life and it started looking like a real stem that is because the variation of uh, shades that we are putting on it I really like uh, these uh, twigs in any arrangement they really take them to another level you can also use it on uh, cakes you don't have to necessarily uh, just use them on arrangements uh, floral arrangements you can also uh, use them to give uh, movement to uh, uh, the fl uh, the floral uh, uh, bunches that you put on your cake right so i'm just going with the darkest shade the raisin sugarine raisin only on the places where i have uh, either the twigs meeting or the knobs first i'm just going to do that i'll also catch the tips with it like so and then just run my brush over it to blend all the shades so that i don't have it too patchy and there you go you have uh, your uh, twig uh, ready so i hope you enjoyed uh, making uh, 
the twig uh, the and the eucalyptus uh, dried up uh, seeds i think uh, they really look uh, very uh, pretty um, let me just show you my bunch and i'm sure when you put it uh, in an arrangement uh, you can very easily deceive people to believe that these are uh, real stems and uh, real twigs there you go so i hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, tutorial and uh, i hope to see you in my uh, next episode as well bye bye